A milestone for the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe today as the band sanctioned the first gay marriage in the tribe's history. In 2011, long before the state legalized gay marriage, Leech Lake Band member Arnold Dahl and his partner Matthew Woolley approached the tribal council about being married by a tribal court. Now, there is actually nothing written in Leech Lake law that prohibits the same sex to marry, but since it has never been done before, it was up to interpretation. And after nearly three years, today the council finally gave the couple its blessing. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. A milestone for marriage equality and Native American culture. Arnold and Matthew, partners for life. <laughs> Arnold Dahl and Matthew Woolley are the first same-sex marriage to be sanctioned by the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe. And making a difference in his own community and being a part of that, it's wonderful. Matthew and Arnold, a Leech Lake Band member, had been fighting to be married by the tribe since 2011. It was a lot of speeches, it was a lot of uh, talking to a lot of people. Even after gay marriage was legalized in Minnesota, they waited. I wanted you know people to see that you know that there is no barrier that you can go forward. You know you can you are equal, have equal rights, and your tribe will stand behind you. Finally, three years later, the couple exchanged vows at the Leech Lake Tribal Court Friday afternoon in front of friends and family. I think this is making huge strides on our Leech Lake Ojibwe Reservation. The now spouses hope their matrimony will be a catalyst to create awareness and understanding in the tribal community. I think it's, um, it's a good thing because, you know, it recognizes that we have um, different categories of, of people. But while a milestone in modern culture, historically Native Americans revered gays as having two spirits. I think it's keeping with our traditions and culture. So this couple is not changing the course of Native American history, but merely bringing it back to its roots. With the tribe actually marrying us, it's like coming full circle. The couple plans to have a more traditional Native American wedding ceremony in the summer on the grounds of their store. The two have owned the Lake Winnie Mini Mart in Bina for 10 years. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.